Alright, so today we're gonna through uh, kind of like the accessories that I have for my uh, Quest headset. Simply because uh, I thought it's gonna be a good idea. Uh, there's just a bunch of bullshit on the internet, kinda. For example, this thing, like some stupid cover on the touch controller, but it doesn't work because touch controller has to have like an open space like here for the LEDs to pick up by the cameras from the headset, so I have no idea who the hell developed that and it's selling that and people are buying. That's crazy to me, right? <laughs> and also it's just that some YouTubers or whatever advertise some accessories that have no sense also, like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like cash grab, but I can't be bothered to be honest, even though I'm making this video, but I, I don't, I'm bothering. <laughs> I kind of wanted to show what I have, what I bought uh, in the past like half month, I guess. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's kind of like things that help me in terms of comfortability, in terms of like, you know, sound, like pretty much everything, right? Bear in mind, I'm not affiliated with any of the company whatsoever. I'm not getting paid, I'm just like, I just use that as a normal user, nothing else. And it works for me, it couldn't work uh, for maybe other people. So it's kinda like, uh, personally, that's what uh, I like. <laughs> First of all, I have uh, Vidmo VR prescription lenses. It's kind of like you can play with certain glasses in the headset. Some glasses are too big uh, for like the space here with the original uh, frame. It really helps a lot in terms of like movement, you know. In certain games, for example in Pistol Whip or whatever, you move a lot and uh, you move also your head a lot, right? You have a high probability of scratching the lenses with your glasses. That's probably probably the main reason why I wanted uh, like a second pair of lenses just to be sure that the original ones I would not scratch whatsoever and I would just like have this ones right. The prescription lenses it's from Vidmo VR right they are a little bit pricey but like for me it kind of like is worth all the money simply because difference between having glasses inside the headset and having separate lenses is just like the biggest change you could ever do to your headset if you are wearing glasses obviously. Some people even uh, b uh, like buy second pair of lenses just like zero ones with no prescription just to have a security for not scratching the lenses so I guess that kind of works right. Uh, second one is like a frame for your face because normally you have a stock quest one it's kind of like a spongy material this one is like more leathery so the main reason is that um, when you are playing with your quest more than I guess one hour or whatever you develop kind of like a frame here on your face right then it's kind of like hard to play anything uh, especially the games that you move a lot with your head longer than one and a half hour kind of so it's kind of like for people that spend a lot of time in the headset i just kind of like picked up my microphone to my glasses okay i'm a master of modification <laughs> anyways it sits better on your face and um, after like two hours you don't really feel that. Also one of the differences is that um, the material is different in VR cover that in the stock one your sweat is absorbed to the sponge. This one doesn't absorb the sweat so it's kind of like your sweat goes down and just like drips, right? It sounds nasty but it's kind of like after some time of playing with the headset your sponge it just gets a little bit messy and smelly and stuff like that. It's just not hygienic because it doesn't absorb anything you just swipe uh, with just some cloth and just some water and that's it pretty much. Also I ordered head strap back one from VR cover. I still don't have it yet, I think it's gonna come like in the next week. Uh, but I can already tell it's gonna be a real difference. Simply because the back of your head is the first um, place for your pain <laughs> when you're playing your quest. If you have the v uh, VR cover uh, face um, thingy because then even though the weight is like on your face because the sponge from VR cover is kind of like diminishing it then the pain goes to the back of your head and after some time it is really painful so it's kind of like I don't really need to have it uh, now to know that it's gonna work because it's gonna work like it's just a sponge on your back on your head and that's pretty much it you can even go to the like I don't know 
Castorama or some, some shit like that and just like buy sponges and just like I guess velcro them or like glue on your strap. That's pretty much it, right? But I'm lazy bitch, so that's a different thing. <laughs> I also have the earphones for the quest. They're a little bit ridiculous because they are really expensive. I don't know, it was I think like 60 euro or whatever. There's no big reason for buying those uh, if you're can just like find the uh, cheaper ones on Amazon or whatever. For me, they work. Uh, it's kind of like my philosophy is that I like official things, I guess. <laughs> um, so I have the official quest ones. They work pretty well. They are short, so you can't tangle that anywhere. The quality is obviously not uh, proportional to the price because there are <laughs> way better things uh, for the price, but like they work for me. So that's that. <laughs> I have the official travel case from Oculus and here's the thing. It's also pricey. It's pretty much the most compact from all the kind of like cases you can get from Amazon or like eBay or whatever. Others may be more sturdy or whatever, I guess. I don't know. I, I've not tested anything else than that. But this case, it's kind of like a really compact one. So it's kind of like the space inside it is like really uh, well distributed. It really suits for me when I'm like traveling, I guess. I don't know how many times I just took it on the plane in just like a backpack back and that's pretty much it like there was no problem with anything and this one is just like minimalistic and pretty small so it works if you are traveling a lot maybe not for someone that just wants to like store i guess it on the shelf or whatever because it is like 50 euro also i don't know it's all right i'm not crazy about it there's also like you know a pocket for like everything batteries head uh, earphones whatever it's just really uh, sleek and uh, it works, so it's kind of like uh, my philosophy is that uh, I would way more prefer to spend <coughs> some quite a bit m money on something that I know for sure works rather than just like buying something cheaper and then buying again something cheaper. It's kind of like I don't really have time for that because I pretty much work all the time. So I don't want to get into buying things because something broke. Like I like official things because they, I know pretty much 100% time that they will work. It's also a good idea to get into Velcro straps, especially if you're having like link cables. My link cable is the anchor one that uh, the F official Oculus uh, block uh, su uh, supported that. Nothing groundbreaking is just like a 3 meter cable with uh, USB 3.0 on one end and then you have USB-C kind of like I still don't have the official link one because they don't sell it in Europe I also have the Kiwi straps for my controller but here's the thing initially it there was like really confusing how to kind of like install them and not really you know I thought it's gonna be handy because uh, it meant to like, kind of like secure your controller on your hand if you're like intensely, I guess, like throwing arms, for example, in pistol rip or whatever. It's kind of like you secure your kind of like knuckles, hand, whatever in place and you kind of like you can drop your controller and it doesn't drop. The problem is that uh, it's really good for games that kind of like you throw recklessly your hand. But when it comes to like kind of like pressing buttons, you you're kind of like farm need to twist and you kind of like need to kind of like lift your hand. The problem is that you can't really do that comfortably, right? You kind of like need to, I guess, kind of like pull it a little bit and then press. The most uh, problematic for me is that it's not comfortable to press the Oculus button and menu button because they are like so below that you need kind of like kind of put more force than usual to press it like you know it's great for like throwing around hands in games that you don't really press buttons other than i guess uh, like thumbstick and grab one so you know i guess it could work in some intense game like beat saber or whatever but like not really for me because i like pressing buttons and kind of like my grip on the touch control is not that my grip is kind of like th like that i have pretty much all the time my thumb on the buttons and just kind of like, you know, a more kind of like grip like a pilot and not really a controller. I don't know. They work partially, but I guess they're like a little bit too uncomfortable for me. But that's for me. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I forgot about anything else. Yeah. Initially, like I, 
instead of the earphones I had like uh, headphones but I'm not a headphone guy I like I don't really understand the concept that is kind of like my head is like a complete square with that visually and for some reason they're not really comfortable for me I don't know I'm a earphone person earbud whatever airpods like anything else that's not on my head just inside the ears yeah i think that would be pretty much it i don't think uh, there's anything else other than like you know power bank or whatever my power bank is kind of like really large because uh, and i compacted it it's kind of like a fanny pack i, I have holes uh, drilled here for the connectors it says Carmcast, whatever i don't know it's kind of like the most important thing is the capacity because the capacity is like 27000 milli amp hours i don't know how to read it but it has like all the inputs like usb3 usb c like the iphone one pretty much all the connectors you would wish and uh, it charges like fucking i don't know how many times maybe five times the quest so it's handy and also when i'm playing intensively quest games for a longer period of time i just fanny pack to my belt and i just connect it to my quest i feel like uh, i use that more frequently um, like in the past when i was playing journey and like first series uh, on my channel Nowadays not really because I have a different uh, kind of like recording ritual. It's kind of like I record uh, usually uh, less than two hours simply because I just like to have like I guess some breaks in between. But I suppose it's gonna be more useful in uh, games especially like multiplayer that is gonna be, be coming in the next uh, months to quest. I feel like that's gonna be more handy there. But yeah I feel like I showed you pretty much every everything I have. I don't have like extensive amount of accessories because why? But mostly the things that can like help what quest fucked up. <laughs> mostly it's uh, comfort uh, issues. So yeah I don't know it's kind of like things that work for me so I'm not saying just just straight up buy those things because you know i respect that some things uh, may be a little bit too expensive for some people but like that's just what i got just from seeing how it works and like from my needs yeah just a quick video i hope though <laughs> i'm recording that uh, like the last day of 2019 so tomorrow it's gonna be 2020 uh, finally jesus fucking christ it's crazy because uh, exactly one year from uh, from now ago i was actually recording and editing the youtube video the blessing is still on like i'm doing that now over again and uh, it's uh, crazy but uh, fun <laughs> anyways happy 2020 and uh, i have uh, already recorded a lot of uh, footage. We're gonna finish Stormland. Uh, I have Asgard some episodes and I already customized and just did every setup that I could with the Half-Life. So that's gonna be coming later in the month. So yeah, I mean uh, happy just like uh, partying but don't die. Uh, yeah. <laughs>